So I've been uh, fooling around with uh, Magic Samplitude Pro X4 and um, I found a new feature that I wasn't aware of before, which is the revolver track feature. What it does is allowing you to save different version of your uh, song depending on uh, what takes you choose uh, with the take composer or uh, when you select different takes uh, of your recordings. So um, let's dive in right away. All right, let's record some takes. And now in Magic Samplitude Pro X4. The first thing you need is to uh, record uh, more than one take uh, on the same tracks. So here we have take four on all the drums tracks. And I can choose select takes and change for take three. So let's listen to take three. And let's listen to take four. So they are pretty different. And um, of course, I also have a bass track right here. So this is take eight. And this is take 11. All right. So, of course, you can uh, make some comping right away uh, by selecting the drums. Uh, let's say... Let's say that uh, measure uh, 22 uh, to... Tw uh, Let's just make 22, um, like this. And we hit T, and then you see it separates that measure, and we can choose take three for only that measure. So let's listen. Okay. So I'm going to control Z to go back. So, uh, and you can, of course, do that with any other tracks that have more than one take. Uh, so what we're talking about today is the revolver tracks, which are something different. Um, you see that sign here that seems like a flower. Well, actually, it could be a barrel of a revolver. So that's why they called it revolver track. And uh, the thing you can do with that is um, create different version of your song, of a track, uh, whatever you want with that. So let's just start by uh, saving a copy. Just left click on the sign and then new revolver uh, track copy. So it's gonna activate for all the tracks and 
if we go back, we have two choices. You see, bass drum and bass drum two. And actually, there's some changes in the name as well that has been done. Okay. Um, so let's make uh, one change. Again, uh, measure 22. Like this. Hit T, and then we're going to change the take for uh, take three. And now uh, it's going to be saved in the track revolver. So if I want to go back, I just need to select everything. And then I go back to the first version and the second version of our song. And you can uh, go on like that for uh, uh, any versions that you want. So let's uh, just extend, extend this to track 25, let's say, and listen to it. Okay, um, and uh, let's make another track, new copy, and this one could uh, take just the end maybe, like this, and right here, so. Okay, or let's let's keep the the end of the other track like this. Um, so we can do so right now we have three revolver tracks, so we can switch between one another. Uh, so instead of uh, clicking on it and choosing the revolver track, you can use the Alt key and page up or down. Select one track. Like this okay and actually you can change it while you play okay so if you have a, a hard time choosing what part what uh, take will be taken for a part of the song you can select that part and make a loop and listen to just that part and all the versions uh, with the use of ALT and page up, page down. So we can do um, the same kind of changes with the bass. Okay. So let's um, oh let's switch to base two, and we're gonna take that part T take eight. Okay, and then let's see, maybe up here, T and take eight as well. So if we, if we listen with the drum. Uh, 
Uh, one last thing that I learned while doing those tests. So if you record a take on, let's say, track 14, like this. So it says uh, take 13, and if we go, go on take composer or take uh, select takes, and we see the take 13. But if we record a second track, and if uh, the second track goes over the totality of the first track, if we go back to change the take, there's only one take, take 14. So the way to fix that is either the second take should be shorter, either you start after the start of the first take or you end before the end of the first take. Or another thing that I found is if I record just a tiny bit at the beginning, like this, you see that part? Now, if I go back to the takes, the take 14, take 13, and take 16. So the, the first take that wasn't there to begin with appeared after we recorded over it. So it's a little bug from Samplitude. I hope Magix will uh, work on it uh, in the next uh, revision. Uh, but then you have a workaround with this. You just record uh, on top of the second take and uh, make sure you don't go over it once again because it will remove all of them. Um, and then it will be okay to see all the takes. But let's try it one last time to record over the whole thing. Okay, stop, and then if we check, you see, we see only the, the last take. So that's, that's a serious bug, uh, and a uh, good thing I found a workaround to, uh, to fix that. So again, you just need to record a part of it, not the whole thing, and then you stop, select, the old track, and then you go back to the takes, and everything appears. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and put questions and comments in the comments below. Uh, either they will become new videos, or I can answer you directly. And of course, don't forget to share my videos. It's always a great help.